Hi, I'm Robert, one of the technicians here at Grady Veterinary Hospital. Uh, we receive a lot of phone calls and inquiries about how uh, somebody can become a veterinary technician. So we're using this video to go ahead and uh, educate you guys as far as what you need to do to be a veterinary technician. Um, the very first thing that I would say um, in order to become a vet tech is, is passion. Um, that's something you can't learn in the classroom, but that's something that all of us carry here and people throughout the veterinary profession um, carry that. Um, we want to work with animals. That's kind of our life calling. A lot of us know from a, a very young age that we wanted to work with animals. It's a two-year program and what you do is one year of uh, typical undergrad classes like chemistry, biology, math, English. Um, and then your second year is strictly focused on veterinary technology, um, where you learn clinicals, um, pathology, parasitology, anatomy, stuff like that. Um, there are also uh, some different types of classes uh, or colleges out there um, that if you don't have the means to uh, be a full-time student, um, I'm actually involved with Cedar Valley College that's based out of Dallas, Texas. Um, it's nice that I can only take one, two, or three classes in my semester, depending on really what's what um, the curriculum is coming to, um, you know, with like certain anatomies or something like that. I would take one class a semester just so I could focus on that because I knew it would be a little bit more difficult, a little bit more in depth. Um, but when we got into other um, classes that you know I felt like I could take two or three, it really worked to my advantage as far as trying to get my degree in veterinary technology. As far as some of the classes that we take, um, pharmacology is one um, where we really rely um, heavily on our drug doses and according to body weights and stuff like that. Um, that was a pretty difficult course because um, every animal weighs a little bit different and every medication is a little bit different. Um, so that was one I took, just one during a semester, um, and then you apply that in your clinicals. So say with pharmacology, um, we're getting ready to do a spay or neuter, and we're using buprenex or morphine for one of our pain medications. Um, this is when we learn um, in pharmacology as far as how to apply that now, because we know our doses, and it's typically in milligrams per kilogram or milligrams per pound. Um, and we walk around with a calculator and figure out our doses and stuff like that. There's like certain induction agents that we use to put the animal to sleep so we can intubate them in order for them to breathe isofluorine while they're under anesthesia. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different intricacies that come along with pharmacology. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to sit down in the classroom and learn it, and then when you have the animal in front of you and have to apply it, um, it it's a nice challenge and it makes things really interesting. Another part of our clinicals as well is uh, anatomy, which is very involved. Uh, you learn all the intricacies from the bones to the nerves to organs and, and what they're made up of. And it helps a lot when one of our veterinarians need an x-ray. Um, they can come back and say, you know, they need an x-ray of the cervical spine or the lumbar spine, and we know exactly what that is. Um, if they're looking at the heart or the liver or the kidneys or the urinary bladder to make sure that these patients don't have bladder stones. Um, anatomy and everything kind of, you know, intertwines with a radiograph as well. In conclusion, veterinary technology um, is, a, is an excellent job in my opinion. Uh, I love it. I've been here at Grady Veterinary Hospital for 18 years and uh, like I tell my folks that I've never worked a day in my life because it's something that I'm passionate about and it's really nice to come in here and do this and help these animals uh, every day. Um, again, for veterinary technology, it is a two-year program. And uh, once you're done with that, you can take it even further. There are certain specialties that a veterinary technician can get involved in as well, um, like emergency and critical care, anesthesia, internal medicine. Um, so there even are further possibilities once you receive your veterinary technology degree.